when you shift these three things in your spiritual business, you will skyrocket your sales and impact. I see this all the time in sales calls that I review, and this is exactly what has helped clients go from literally being afraid of sales to crushing sales and closing at like 80%. And these three things will apply whether you're doing sales calls or whether you're closing in the DMs or, or whatever. Either way, these three things have to be integrated. Okay, so the first one across the board is getting really clear on what you're available for. So all three of these, just as a little, you know, spoiler alert, these are all what I call energetic leaks. Okay, so the first thing is getting really clear on what you're available for and where are you out of alignment with your core value. So for example, where are you trading time that you don't want to be trading, right? Like whether that's on sales calls or where are you having conversations with people that even if it's like in the DMs or something that you just don't want to be doing, like where are the energy leaks around what you're available for? So around your time, around your, um, the extension of you, right? Like your time, your energy, where are you not in alignment? Where are you over giving and under receiving? For example, that's just another example. So we gotta get really, really clear on elevating the standards of what you're actually available for. And this can come as, you know, kind of a shock to women because they many, oftentimes will realize that they've built their entire business model on something that is not in alignment. It's not in alignment with their true core desires and their true core values. They've built someone else's dream that is not in alignment with their core values. And so that means there needs to be some restructuring. It doesn't mean you have to burn it all down, but it does mean that it has to come into alignment and you have to get really crystal clear on what you're available for and what your values are so that you can build a business around that that feels aligned and that honors your core values, okay? So energetic leaks, what are you available for? Where is the standard and what is out of alignment there? The second thing is where are the energetic leaks in your sales process? So this will typically be like in your funnel or in your sales process or system or in your application or, or how you are showing up on the calls and things like that. There's usually an energetic leak and oftentimes it's many different energetic leaks somewhere in the system or the funnel or the process, right? So again, this comes back to um, having to assess where in your, the process are there energetic leaks. So for example, let's say you have uh, an application, let's say, in order to hop on a call with you, but you're afraid to actually put the investment question on the actual application because you're afraid it's gonna turn people away. So this already is coming from lack consciousness and needy energy and you've already lost. This is a huge energy leak. And so what ends up happening, right? You end up hopping on calls with people that can't afford your services or are not interested in buying and yada, yada, yada. And that's because of weak boundaries around your time and energy. And again, around your values and coming from this fear-based consciousness instead of fully being in your divine confidence and energy and being really crystal clear on what it is that you're available for. So for example, that will lead to burnout, that will lead to fatigue, that will that will that will lead to a lack of confidence in your sales skills when ultimately you don't have a sales problem necessarily. What you have is a boundary problem where you're um in this scenario, letting people take up space on your calendar that don't deserve your time. You have to get really clear, uh, again, on what you're available for. So 
a quick analogy would be, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I, I have over 12 years of real estate experience that um, I stopped selling real estate when COVID hit when I started, um, you know, in the transitioning full time into the digital entrepreneur space. But this would be the equivalent of like letting tenants squat in your rental property right that can't pay you and can't afford the rent but yet you let them stay on stay in your property so this is your calendar if you're doing sales calls in this example for you know as a as an analogy is like valuable real estate to you right each slot is worth 500 a thousand five thousand ten thousand dollars like you know, your time is valuable. And every time you let someone take up space on your calendar, you're, it's like letting them, you know, you know, move into your, your rental property, right? Well, you want to make sure that whoever you're moving into your rental property can pay you, right? And can afford your services. And by you not having healthy vetting questions that set healthy boundaries around your time and your energy, that is a leak. That is an energetic leak and it's bleeding your boundaries very, very thin, right? It's like allowing just anybody to hop on your calendar and take up time. So that's just one example. Maybe you're doing sales calls, maybe you're not. Maybe you have a sales team, but if this is happening, it's an energetic leak and it's coming from a scarcity mindset because of the fear of actually putting healthy vetting questions in place that would then hinder and result in a higher caliber on your calendar, which would then result in a higher conversion and boosted, you know, energy around your own sales process and all of that stuff. So it's about really plugging the holes of all the energetic leaks, right? So it's kind of like if you're in this boat and there's like all these little tiny holes in it. You're like, if you have one little hole, it's not as big of an issue. But if you have like all of these little holes, um, you got to start plugging them. But sometimes if you just have that one little hole, it's a lot harder to realize that you have that energy leak to begin with. And it's often because you're too close to it that you can't see it. And it's often such a fine little refinement, a little, a little click into alignment that would easily go unnoticed for you for a lot by you for a long time, right? Um, because it's just this one little hole, it's this one little leak, but yet to, you know, a female entrepreneur in the space that can add up to tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, right? This applies. I've worked with emerging um, female, you know, creatives, visionaries, leaders, entrepreneurs, and also very, um, you know, uh, very maintained, um, not maintained, very, um, what's the word? Um, advanced seven figure business owners and these same rules apply. So, so where are the leaks in your boat, right? Like where are the leaks that are keeping you from really sailing and easily you know, like hitting your targets and increasing your conversions. And the third one would be, um, you lack authority or conviction certainty and divine confidence, whether it be on your lives, whether it be on your challenges, whether it be in the DMs, whether it be on sales calls, whether it be on some kind of virtual event, whether it be a live event, like whatever the case may be, there is a lack of confidence, certainty, authority, and conviction. And this causes others to also doubt that you can actually help them. So this is an energetic leak. There is a reason that you're not fully in your authority and that you're not fully in your confidence, what I call divine confidence. Divine confidence is unwavering and it's unconditional. And 
This is very much tied with your authenticity, spoiler alert, because when you fully, fully own your authentic expression, when I say this, I mean fully, fully own your authentic expression, you not only become magnetic to the people that you're here to serve because they're only here for your authentic self. They're not here for the you that needs to like compartmentalize yourself and wear a mask and be all these different things to all these different people. They want the real you and they can feel that on a soul level. So your authentic expression is what's going, is, is very much married to your divine confidence, which is unwavering and unconditional. And when you can show up in that energy, then there is no energetic leaks within your energy field that people can feel, right? Like, cause they can feel if you are fully owning your energy and the conviction around your offer and things like that. And if you don't have your own level of certainty, conviction and authority, and divine confidence around your offer, then you're not going to attract in clients that, that do. Um, you're going to attract in a mirror of clients that are reflecting back to you your lack of integrity with what it is that you're offering. And so there's a couple reasons that this might happen. Your offer could be out of alignment. So it might not ultimately be in integrity with what it is you actually want to offer. And so you can't get your energy fully behind it. And so then that means we have to tweak the offer in order to bring the offer into alignment so that you can show up and fully stand in your conviction and your certainty and your authority and your leadership around your offer. Um, if the offer is perfectly in alignment, then oftentimes this could be a fear of receiving. This could be, you know, a fear of being uh, bold in your authentic expression because doing so may mean people might not like you. And so there's this playing smaller, like kind of like dumbing down your message or being more vanilla with your message and being a little less polarizing with your message. And so you kind of just blend in with everybody else and it's kind of boring, right? And so there's many different reasons, but the one thing that's always, always, always true about the different energy leaks and where they can occur is that it's often too close to you because you're in your work all, you know, you're in your work. It, it's too close to you to see your blind spots or it's hiding in your shadow and it's the shadow is the shadow for a reason, right? It's not in your conscious awareness, right? And so when you get a set of expert eyes and ears on your message and on your offer and in your sales, on your sales process and how you're showing up and you get an honest, cons you know, critique and audit of all of the different energy leaks. And sometimes you got a lot of holes to plug, right? In that boat. And sometimes you just have like one or two and you're just a couple of plugs away from skyrocketing your sales and your impact and your confidence in your offer. And so everybody's different. So I wish I could say there's just one thing that you have to do right now to skyrocket your sales and your impact, but it's very nuanced and it's unique to you and where you're showing up or where you're, what your standards are and where you're not meeting your values or where, what's hiding in your shadow and things like that. So it's very, very nuanced, but that is the benefit of working with someone like myself that is able to tune into that with crystal clear laser vision right? That's an intuitive business coach that already has downloads about what's going on for you before you even show up to our call, right? Um, so that you can make rapid, rapid, rapid shifts. I think I just lost my O-ring light. So if this is resonating and you want to learn more, then you can check out this new offering that I am putting out right now and it's called the goddess standard and it's an amazing way to work for, with me. There is no better time to get into my world. If this is something that you want to learn more about, DM me or comment below goddess and I will get you all the details. Namaste.